Hey YouTube, Adam from Team Swish here, and uh, first piece of direct YouTube content, this is Legacy Death and Taxes. So, uh, this exact 75 is the 75 I have been personally playing, this is what I have sleeved up in paper, uh, minus uh, art choices of course. Um, so, uh, I figured I would sit down this afternoon and run this through a league and kind of talk through some of my card choices a little bit. Um, so to kind of start, uh, four Mother Runes, two Spirit of the Labyrinth, two Recruit of the Guard, four Stoneforge Mystic, four Thalia, four Wisp, three Skyclave Apparition, Sanctum Prelate, four Aether Vile, four Swords to Plowshares, a Palace Jailer, a Solitude, a Cauldra, a Batter Skull, a Jite, three Caracas, a Flagstones of Trocare, one, two, three, I think we're five basic planes? Four, five basic planes. Uh, four Rashad and Port. Six snow covered planes. Four Wasteland. Um, to address it first, the reason between the planes and snow covered planes split, it's free. Uh, as it turns out, the Predict is a magic card that exists in the Legacy format, and it is kind of bounces back and forth between seeing regular play. Um, and so, as a byproduct, you can. Split your snow covered your planes and snow covered planes, um, and that way, if your opponent casts a blind predict targeting you and names planes, they are less likely to hit. Um, for, then into the sideboard here, two deafening silence, two surgical extractions, containment priest path, either sworn canonist, Phyrexian revoker, two rest in peace, two cataclysm, two mind break trap, and a sword of fire and ice. Um, so, obviously, Deafening Silence, Canonist, all for spell-based combo, Surgical Extraction, Rest in Peace, oh, sorry, um, tra Mind Break Trap also for spell-based combo, uh, Rest in Peace, Surgical Extraction, and Containment Priest, obviously for graveyard-based decks, um, usually things like Reanimator, uh, potentially Dredge, what have you, um, Path to Exile just is another piece of removal. Uh, sometimes you got to clean up something and a car particular card in your deck isn't good. So you can just board in the path and have another piece of removal. Um, not that you'd really need more in this day and age with Sword Splashers, Skyclave Apparition, Solitude, Jailer, a Partridge in a Pear Tree. Um, but every once in a great while, you're just like, I have a card that is actively bad. Uh, how do I fix uh, answer path to exile uh, often path can just come in and replace something that's bad and just give you another piece of early interaction uh, cataclysm and sort of fire nice versus decks like bant um, <clears throat> decks that just kind of want to slow grind dirtle over a few turns and then like build a, an incremental advantage um, cataclysm and sort of fire nice kind of let you also have well cataclysm is just a do you have a counter spell button uh, if you Cataclysm and your opponent does not have a way to deal with it, uh, you are probably winning the game. Uh, sort of Fire and Ice is just this incremental advantage over time. Um, so Cataclysm also explains the one of Flagstones of Trocare, in case you were curious. Um, when you Cataclysm and sacrifice your Flagstones of Trocare, you get a second land, so everything is great. Uh, Revoker's just going to clean up a few problem permanents. Um, things like, I don't know... Um, if your opponent were to show and tell on a grizzle brand uh you can shut off the draw ability with Phyrexian provoker um there there i mean revoker is a thing that yo-yos in and out of being good um you can also shut off say goblin welder out of painter um it's nice it's flexible it's it's another thing that a lot of decks just have to respect because you can shut off some of their primary avenues um and then finally to touch on cataclysm again uh another big thing that this is great for is things like lands uh the lands deck needs a critical mass of lands in play to really get anywhere or do anything and when you cast cataclysm with say athalia or something of the like in play all of a sudden your life is very good and their life is very hard so uh that is pretty much kind of the deal here um why Palace Jailer? Um, Palace Jailer is a removal spell that is very good against a deck like Bant, because not only does it remove a creature, it also draws you cards. Uh, drawing cards versus the Dirtly Control deck, very, very good. A+. Um, 
so one of solitude why the one of solitude well because sometimes your opponent's going to make a very important creature very quickly um and you may not always have an answer to it for example reanimator or joe and tell what have you um and the ability to have solitude come in for zero mana and just say get it out uh, importantly, Solitude will also answer Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, because Solitude's ability is what targets Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, not Solitude the spell. So, kind of another weird, um, can be important thing. Um, so, Solitude, Solitude, very, very, very good. Uh, can confirm. So, that is why Solitude and Jailer in the flex slots. So, without any further ado, let's get this league started. So, basically, um, Death in Texas has gotten a lot of toys over the years, and now, of course, most people have shifted to Yorian. Um, Yorian is a tool that is very, very useful in the fair mid-range matchup. It is exceptionally good because it lets you grind, gives you this built-in inevitability engine, plus gives you a few redundant pieces of things. Um, where you can suffer is against combo. So when your deck has an extra 20 cards in it, all of a sudden it can be very difficult to find laser-focused pieces that you might want. So you shave out 20 cards. Um, most of the cards that Yorian lists gain don't necessarily clean up your combo matchup a ton. Um, and I have made it pretty clear a long time ago that I am much more okay losing a fair mid-range matchup that I, you know, just somebody got a little more incremental advantage than I am the combo matchup. Because combo is terrifying, and it is often the case where you will not... Feels good, right? This seems good. Um, combo is often the, the matchup that is difficult. Alright, cool. Uh, right off the get-go, cue into Blue-Red Delver. Alright, cool. I'm gonna play the Sather Vial. Daze it? Daze it. Nice. Good for me. So, uh, things that are important here. Um, this Vial is going to allow me to put in this Mother of Runes, which will protect Stoneforge Mystic, which can get Numazawa's Jite, Partridge into Pear Tree, uh, all of these things are going to be good for me. Always yield. Yes. Uh, cast another one. We're going to take a couple of hits from this Delver, but I think that's inherently okay. Um, so, eventually, we can either unflip the Delver with a Flicker Wisp, or just kind of start beating down. Nice. Another Delver. Sure. You got it. Okay. So, this also could be Jeskai Delver. Arid Mesa is slightly suspicious. This one. Oh, yes. Also, yes. Play this. Huh. So, I think I just want to resolve a third vial here, to be honest with you. I think having three vials in play long term is incredible for us. Kind of want to set a stop here and just vial in my Thalia. Yes, this one. So, uh, the reason to do that there is because then if opponent wants to brainstorm, okay, they're just going to play the, the fetch land game, which is totally reasonable. 
What is an opponent's hand? Okay, there's an iteration, sure. Yes, this is fine. <clears throat> is this three mana expressive iteration? Wasteland, sure. Meyer, okay. Yep, that's fine. Put all of these on the stack, please. Yes. 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 That feels good. I will play this Caracas. Um, I think it's actively good for me to hang that as a wasteland bait. <clears throat> sure. My opponent wants to choke their own mana. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I don't, I don't care about that at all. Uh, yeah. Yes. Wisp. This one. Sure. Activate. Yup. This one? Yes, please. I need to draw a land to get this GTA online. But I suppose. Okay. You get an unflipped Elder Bag. This one's gonna go to yes. No. No. Ah, this is good. So we didn't draw the land, but that's okay. Activate. Yes, please. This one. Yep. This one. This one. Okay. Combat. Tag for a lot. What is this bolt targeting? Oh, me? That's bold. Like, exceptionally bold. Okay. Like... You got it. <clears throat> Trying to figure out what opponent thinks is going on here. All right. Flip to iteration. Sure. Then force of will. That sure? I mean, like, I yeah, I guess. I'm very confused. 
Oh, DRC entered the exile zone? Sure. Oh, okay. Opponent's given up. I like it. Um, so, uh, Sword of Fire Nice, very good. Uh, like, actually, very, very, very good. Um, this is where I don't mind the path, if I have room. So, Fire Nice, Path. Rest in Peace just invalidates uh, Dragon Knight Channeler entirely. And then Jailer can go. Cauldra can go. Um, importantly, Jailer goes here because our opponent has a lot of creatures that have flying. Um, and it is very easy for them to just kind of go right over top of us. Um, Prelate is fine, but not incredible. Can probably also cut Solitude. Although I think new blue red delver lists are just playing torpor orb, which is kind of hysterical. Um, other things I don't necessarily need in my life. Prelate, like, kind of unreasonably good, honestly. Um. I'm going to cut the Solitude. I think that's inherently fine. I do have to watch my creature count here. I want to make sure that my creature count stays high. And then finally... Stoneforge Mystic is how I'm winning the game most of the time. Uh, Vile is also kind of exceptionally good. My notion here is to cut Prelate. I think I'm just going to cut Prelate. Like, shutting off all of opponent's one-drops, of which they have a lot, is powerful and useful. Uh, this looks pretty reasonable. I'm gonna keep... Okay. DRC. Yep. So, game plan here. Start by casting Vial. Oh, they just let Vile resolve. That's so good. Is this where you show me that your hand just already contains Null Rod? Yep, that's fine. Always yield. Yes. So, options here. We're going to invalidate this Dragon Rage channel by playing this Rest in Peace. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I want to do it around days. I think the answer to that question is yes. So, I think right now I'm just going to play this. Put a stop in their upkeep. And port them. Sure. Is this where opponent just shows me they have a braid for my vial? Okay, no. Yup. Oh, this is a turbo Murktide regent. Which we we can already beat. Oh, this is Ragavan. Yeah, that's that's really okay. No, it's no blocks. No. <clears throat> yep. Ah, yes. Mother of Runes just behind curve. I love it. All right. So, I think I'm actually going to cast this mom. If they have the bolt, I'd rather it go here than at my Stoneforge Mystic or the like. I 
Targeting Nom. Yep, that's exactly what I expected. Got it. I'm just going to eat this cantrip. I'm willing to let your ponder resolve if you are. Or do you have things to say about it? No, we have nothing to say about it. Trade with the Ragavan, take one. Another Steam Vents. Yep. Delving for a big dragon. Delving for a big dragon, indeed. Cool. Well, the good news for me is... That means I just get to answer everything. I should be able to react to that, but I'm apparently not getting all, not allowed to. So, uh, no, I don't think I will this turn. That's even better. I want to get rid of this dragon. Still just playing around opponents days. Delver's fine. Yes, please. Stoneforge Mystic. Yes, please. You know, I really like the notion of this one. Yes. Okay. So I think what I want to do here is... Yes. This one. Take this off the table. This one. This one. Cool. So now this Skyclave is going to take care of this Delver. Brainstorm is fine. Or I suppose to, to correctly clarify what I just said, uh, the sort of fire nice trigger will take care of this Delver. Oh, baby. Is this another Murktide Regent right into my plow? Oh, I'm so good. So good. Deal. Yup. Always no. So, plow this. I guess. Oh, cool. Opponent has just given up. Good for us. So the the debates there were: Do we cast? Like we know we're killing the Delver. Do we cast and then move this over this order over the Stoneforge Mystic so that we have blocker? Probably not. Um. <clears throat> do we like that keeps other Murktide from showing up and it keeps Dragon Rage Channeler from ever being like a, a, a magic card that matters um but it does like kind of open us up to like yeah kill your Skyclave Apparition get a thing and then like they, they have some amount of presence left 
small, but this does mean something. Um, the other options there were to just attack first, see what we draw. That was the line I was considering, was just attack. Um, we also have the ability to just wasteland our opponent and then port them. And then give them three mana for the entire turn with no board state. Which I like the notion of. Um, so, options galore. But, yeah, pretty easy to go there. Uh, Delver has historically been good. Uh, Delver has good magic cards now, but Delver is still pretty susceptible to a lot of the stuff we have going on. And in order to kind of cover their bases in a lot of the other matchups, they also need to kind of sacrifice things that they would play for the taxes matchup. Things like uh, Brazen Borrower. That's going to answer the Cauldra. Uh, which we cut, but um, was uh, definitely contributed to our opponent's demise in game one. So, yep. Let's see. So League's reset the other day, and just kind of looking through oh hey already on to it spatula of the ages uh known enchantress player oh and we won the die roll let's i would say let's go but not with that we don't huh i'm gonna keep it i'm gonna ship this batter skull down Our opponent knows immediately what we are. That's okay. So. Gross. Looting, sure. Hold on, did opponent reveal a chance at the beginning of the game? They did not. Okay. So, you can play Spirit, but if our opponent has it, that's super bad. So I'm going to port them. And we're going to hope they don't just have the reanimate. If they have the reanimate, we're still not just dead. It's just not very good. Swamp. Yup. Show it to me, opponent. They just have the reanimate. That is unfortunate. <clears throat> cool. And they named Instance. Okay. We were capable of beating that. Yup. So... Game plan here is to make sure we keep our opponent from doing anything else yet. So opponent is strictly discarding two cards here. So we have we have plenty of options to beat this. They've discarded animate dead and another looting. Yep. These are not the kind of draw steps that we were looking for to try to make this work. What I'm looking for is Solitude, Palace Jailer. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna tick this up because if I draw Palace Jailer, well, that that isn't Palace Jailer, as it turns out. 
So I'm going to cast my second vial. Get that moving. Attack opponent down. Oh, we're just dead. What am I talking about? I guess opponent doesn't know. So. But. We are, we are indeed just dead. If opponent just declares attacks, we lose the game. Okay. <sighs> opponent exhumes, puts a Chancellor into play. We, we have died. Surgical, surgical, deafening silence, deafening silence. Priest, canonist, rip, rip. Uh, we can cut. Oh dear. Can cut mom. Mom is usually of basically no value. Um can actually trim vials in this matchup, which sounds strange and unusual, but is normally the case. Um, I will cut Imazawa's GTA for it has almost no text. Um, hmm. I don't really need Cauldra, and at that rate I'm gonna cut Stone Forges. I'm gonna leave two stone forges because they'll find this batter skull that's gonna let me like allow me actually no we're gonna bring in revoker we're gonna bring in the path and then I'm gonna cut the batter skull and a stone forge mystic what else can we board in bring back one mom bring back one mom we're still over 20 creatures which is where you want to be and as it turns out now I think our deck is a little a little better suited. Alright. Well, this doesn't do the thing, so I'm gonna mulligan it. This does the thing, but basically nothing else. This is questionable as well. Can you get a five? Yikes. This has zero hate. Like actual zero hate. I guess. Uh, wisp down. Planes down. I want to keep vile. Because if opponent shows me a chancellor. Yep, there it is. Oh, opponent reveals double chancellor. That That is... About as unfortunate as it gets. So we're definitely throwing this vial away. Clear those. No. Okay. Uh, no. Turns out not paying for that one either. Okay. Opponent's going to manual discard. All of your spells cost more mana. Yes. Petal, okay. We're just going to attack, and we're going to take them off this swamp. Because all the opponent really needs is a reanimation spell here. Now opponent has to have another land if they have a one-man reanimation spell, which they do, of course. 
We have the plow to beat the the first thing. We just need to draw a third land. That's where we're at. Draw a third land. Yikes. That sucks. Like a lot a lot. Yup. So opponent takes the plow. Yup, that's fine. Oh, they can't do anything with it though. All right, well. I'm just gonna keep attacking and porting then. Cause that says to me that whatever they, whatever they currently have costs them more mana to do than they have to do it. They're entombing, sure. It means unless you have another land. Oh, there's Archon. Okay, that sucks. Huh. There's the third land now that we don't need it. Of course, of course. Um, I'm going to continue porting them. At present, it seems like that's actually relevant. <clears throat> so, okay, they have the land. That's very bad. Because them having the land means they get to what I assume is exhume. Or animate that. The Archon. Kind of hoping it's animate dead because we have animate dead covered. It is just exhume. This is truly unfortunate. Alright. So the question here is... Yeah, we're going to return our Thalia. I think Wisp is the least good at the present moment. Plow. Not plow. Shit. So... Put in vial. Cast canonist. We're really just looking for plow. I guess solitude also works. This can go, this can go. We're getting completely and totally wrecked here. All right, sure. Opponent's up to six cards now. This has really kind of changed the texture of the matchup. Archon is, yikes. Reanimate Chancellor, you got it. Archon allowing them to refuel is kind of problematic. Because now, <clears throat> whereas previously, you just stop the initial barrage. Yeah, you're going to unmask me and take my Thalia. I get it. Yikes. Alright. Always yield. Yes. Ah, good. We just die. <sighs> so... Where once that matchup was like, stop the initial flurry, and then, like, you're probably good. The one idiot doesn't beat you kind of thing. Um, now that's... It's kind of changing, because Archon is just such a house. Um, Archon's the kind of card that, like, randomly shows up and roundhouse kicks you in the mouth. 
I will also play first again. His hand is slow, but like actively fine. Play plain Sego. This represents swords to plashers to my opponent. Oh, okay. Echoes. Got it, got it, got it. I am very much in the business of casting the Spirit of the Labyrinth. There's a Psy, there's an Opal, there's an Ancient Tomb. Do you just have LED plus now? No, you don't. Okay. Wobble, wobble. Got it. That's fine. That's what I plan on showing you anyway. I'm going to show you the one that says your echo doesn't work. Saga, sure. That I can beat. Bobble, yes. Also fine. Alright, well. I'm unsure what my opponent knows about my hand. Oh, the Wisp. Okay. Show them this other planes. I'm going to clear this out now and get it done with. Cast the Thalia. Force Pitch Emery. Sure. I have the Wisp to deal with a Construct token. Currently, my opponent only has two mana in play. There's the Ancient Tomb. Deal. These are things that feel like they're good for me. <sighs> this one. Uh, guess we're grabbing Cauldra. I have no reason to attack with this. If I attack with this spirit, they just eat it with a 1-1. One, one. And I'm not really in the business of allowing them to do that. It does functionally stone rain them. Is this where you show me Needle? Yeah, Needle named Stoneforge Mystic. Correct. I accept. There's another memory. Don't care about that so much. LED, yep. LED, yep. Opal, sure. I'm just gonna take six. Take you off that. Okay, another ancient tomb. This emery is like a little problematic, but not excessively. Oh, they milled their Shadow Spear. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, 
one. Yup. Oh, gross. Take it. All right, well, I'm now kind of priced into blocking with something. Which lets them echo, which feels bad. Eight, two, that's six. I can't attack. Just have to kind of hang out. Opponent knows the only card in my hand, Chalice, sure. I don't think that's a card that matters. Chalice on two? I mean, sure. One, two, three, four. I'm kind of in the spot, right? Go to one. You got the echo? You, want to, you feel like casting it? I mean, yeah, you know it's the cauldra. That'll do, pig. They just equipped to uh, Emery and I die. Does the opponent realize if they just equipped Emery, I, then I die? Because that's definitely where we're at. Yep. Good. Okay. Deafening silence. Rest in peace. Trap. Joker, this. Uh, this one is where Sanctum Prelate matters less. Uh, GTA is actually of some value. Solitude is a weird one. Uh, I do like a Jailer here quite a bit. What are we? I'm actually gonna cut the jailer. I just said, yeah, I kind of like it a little bit. No, I've changed my mind. On oh, deafening silence. The rest in peace is also not something we necessarily need. I'm more worried about the other facets of their deck. Truth be told. Um, we. So you board in Rest in Peace or Surgical to, like, deal with Echo Lines. Um, Cauldre can go. Batter Skull can go. Which means a Stone Forge can go. Shave a Vial. Call that a day? That seems fine. I'd love to play first. This is a hand that is probably too slow. This is also a very slow hand. This hand at least has a clock. I guess? Oh, we can do better. Or we can't. Let's send away a vial. Yikes. Is 
What are we buying on the mom? Must play land first. Resolve our vial. Sure. Yeah, and this is the fundamental flaw. Like, your opponent just goes off on turn one. Emery. Sure. Thought monitor. It didn't really show me anything in that that I'm worried about. Yes, please. Do we have Force of Will? We don't have Force of Will, that's good. Okay. Sigh. If they activate Emery, yeah, they do. Going to evoke this. That on the stack first, then this targeting Psy. I want to take the only real threat you have out of play. We do that at that particular juncture because this is a, a Thopter with Psy. I would love to use either Vile's ability. Get this out of here. Oh, that was... I mean... Both of these things take them off of 3 mana. Or 2 mana. I could have Wastelanded C to the Sina to shut off Opal. I guess what's fundamentally... Imp they can do this. They can... Oh, okay, they have another sigh. Sure. I would love to use Files ability. Okay. Uh, we can take, actually. Set a stop in my end stop. Yes, Wisp. You can have your land back in your end stop. This minimizes the chances they actually get to do anything. And then this Flicker Wisp basically starts locking up the long game. No thank you. Land? Not land. Uh, actually reasonable though. Combat. Cat. We were hoping for, yikes. That's a good one, friend. Shadow Spear. Okay. What picks up Shadow Spear? Is the flyer? That seems like a reasonable call. Oh, EE -E on one. Sure. Oh, Legend Ruler or Mox Opal? Is that where we're at? Oh, Thought Monitor. One. Yup, that's pretty bad. Shifted this around a little bit. Now I'm looking for answers to EE, -E. I'm looking for answers to Psy. Uh, 
Highest density is at three. Immediately, yeah, yikes. I think I'm still the aggressor here, funny enough. Was probably actually supposed to clock with Thalia too. Interesting. Saga bad. Y'all, thought monitor, draw two more cards. So, whereas I originally thought this was Echoes, it appears to be eight cast. So, opponent is casting a needle. Is this needle on vial? Like, I don't think our opponent does anything if we... So it has to be needle on vial, right? Or on mom? Vial. Yep. I mean, like, you're blowing it up anyway, right? Like, I don't particularly care. Okay. We're not blowing it up. Two, three, four, five. Sure. Thalia currently bullying me more than it's bullying my opponent with these two swords to plowshares in hand. That feels unfortunate. Still saying no to this. Great. Uncastable card. This is this is also good. Alright. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Opponent can clock me for a lot of damage in the air that I can't really do anything about, which feels bad. Pedal. Cast pedal to make another one, one, yes. Do you possess yet another thought monitor? Because that feels like the kind of thing you're supposed to have right now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. Not sure why we didn't attack with the other thought monitor, I suppose, but all right. Make a construct. Yes. This is where I wish that my deck contained Kataki Wars Wage. No, thank you. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like, we're very dead. I guess we see if my opponent does the thing. Because our opponent has not shown that they are currently willing to, to make their attacks correctly. Nope. Yep. This is all fine. Your con, I mean, I guess they can move the <laughs> retro vendor foundry. Sure. Shift shadow spear to construct. Yes. Yep. Our opponent has now figured out how to do the thing. Yikes. Well, probably could have mulliganed more aggressively in that one. Um, or kept the initial hand that, like, was a touch slow, but probably okay. Um, instead, we mulliganed looking for a very finite subset of cards that we didn't end up finding. Uh, things like Deafening Silence. <clears throat> um, so, like, and this is where it's worth addressing. Like, there is a cost to playing... I play a third, uh, either Sworn Canonist over Deafening Silence in my sideboard. Uh, there's a cost to that. Um, the cost is that either Sworn Canonist does not do hardly anything against the 
the blue artifact, like Emery Psy decks of that nature. Um, whereas instead, um, it what it does do is deal with decks like elves. So I like having the the flexibility of that extra slot because both of them deal with storm. Both of them are good against Reanimator. Um, I like the flexibility of that third slot. I value it pretty highly. Um, but the cost is what you just saw, where Canonist would not have been very good. I won the die roll. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Opponent's name is Eureka2242. 22422. So, do we think that our opponent plans to put the card Eureka on the stack? If so, I need to remember how that's going to interact with my own Containment Priest post-board. For anyone who hasn't watched the video, there is a match where I played a game versus Eureka. Okay, black. Thought sees. Sure. Yep, that's a good one. I would love to activate Stoneforge Mystic's ability. Gonna get this Cauldra. Gonna say go. We're gonna hope to draw a third land and put the Sanctum Prelude into play and name three because our opponent is almost assuredly Doomsday. Brainstorm, yep. Smells a whole lot like Doomsday. <clears throat> so, one of the hallmarks there being the opponent took Spirit of the Labyrinth um, when they turn one Thought Seized. Uh, this says to me that their hand is fairly close to going off, but needs something. Probably, if I had to guess, additional mana. So, I have to imagine that they knew they had to cantrip to look for mana, and Spirit is kind of going to allow us to shut that... Well, definitely would have allowed us to shut that off. So, they had to take Thoughtseize. Um, was an option there to Wasteland... I don't know how far we get in this game, given the context of our hand, if we just Wasteland Pass with just a mom in play. Um, I would much rather present a clock before we start thinking about like how good Wasteland is. Um, in this next turn cycle, if I draw a land, I think I may actually just Wasteland our opponent, put in Cauldron, and clock them. Because uh, it seems to me that opponent is light on mana. Which would be why you would Thoughtseize, take Spirit, immediately brainstorm. Just not thinking about it. No no land drop, no nothing. Just snap off a brainstorm. Sure. So... Okay, pedal. I'm less inclined to Wasteland. Black. Okay. So they're going to take the Cauldra. Sure. Well, I'm going to Wasteland one of these lands. Thinking now, cast Stoneforge for Batter Skull. Probably cast Stoneforge for Batter Skull. Could have put GT in and started trying to clock like that. I think that the more cards I remove from my deck, giving me the option to try to put this prelate into play now, the better it is for me. Yep. Wh oh! I have misjudged this entirely. Opponent is blue black peer combo. Or the craziest way. All right. Um. I'm gonna attack with one of these Stoneforge Mystics. <clears throat> yeah, I now believe that opponent is blue black pair into the abyss combo. Uh, could also still just be like natural storm, like uh, ad nauseum tendrils or the epic storm. 
Seems much less like oh. Cabal red, sure. LED, yes. Battle, yup. Smells like pier. Activate crack LED in response. Yup. Cast Peter. Oh, ad nauseum. Sure. Ponder, Delta, LED, Dark Ritual, Cabal Ritual, Preordain, Brainstorm. Okay, this is ad nauseum tendrils. Thoughtseize, Tutor. I don't think that kills. Opponent disagrees. Sure. Ritual, sure. Oh, shit. I'm... Oh, okay. Oh, opponent's going for goblins. Uh, and then they're going to take one of these things anyway. I think I will just solitude away. No, no, I won't. I will not. Okay, opponent is taking the solitude. <clears throat> I feel like opponent is going for a tendrils line. They have black, black, black floating. Weird that they chose to... Interesting. Yeah, I... So strange. So they have cast Thoughtseize. There's the tendrils. Yep. So if I had Solitude my own thing... Only four, I, yeah, I still die. Sideboard. All right. So this is Deafening Silence, Mind Break Trap. Uh, funny enough, Revoker has lines of text I like and Canonist. Uh, I'm going to cut Palace Jailer. I'm going to cut Solitude. I am... Probably gonna leave the Jitte in, I think. Uh, just because it'll mop up goblins. Um. Maybe I'm not. Oh, Plow. Plow can go. That's all fine. Yep, I like all of this well enough. This mops up goblins. This gains life to make tendrils harder. This kills them. Uh, these will mop up any artifact mana or talismans they play out. Actual hate. 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 Win finds the win conditions. Hate. Hate. I love it. I would love to play first. Keep. Easy keep. I don't think I've ever had an easier keep. This is incredible. <clears throat> so it says deafening silence into deafening silence plus mom into revoker and revoker will probably name lion's eye diamond i could also maybe revoker oh that's gross forgot to swap out one of my planes let's go um revoker can also name uh wish claw talisman File. Oh. Mom.
You got your brainstorm. So, can probably hold this in hand. Opponent may try to force a vigor. Always yield. Yes, please. Rashad and Port. Another vial. Player Evoker. Revoker will name Wish Claw Talisman. Because Talisman will be let the thing that lets them tutor for their hate. Otherwise, they just kind of have to cantrip or naturally draw into it and then do it over the course of a couple of turns. Okay. Fetch. Yup. Prioritan is fine. This feels like opponent is gonna try to massacre. Which is kinda wild. Yes please. Also yes please. I will pass here. Yup. So opponent has to go for a natural line now. They can't wish claw. I'm going to have Rashad in port. The Deafening Silence shows back up next turn. Port you now. Cast Dark Ritual, sure. Cabal Ritual, yes. Opponent is going to add Nauseam. Rainstorm, Tendrils, Cabal Ritual, Yawk, Yawk. So like, this is not a kill. Opponent knows this is not a kill. If they do this now, their game plan is just to massacre me. Which it seems like is their game plan. All right, sure. This is Roth. That is a card I did not know about. There's the brainstorm that I did. Storm is five. I can't currently see a line that allows I guess massacre ritual tendrils they're at three that's another ritual and one that we didn't see previously misty cabal ritual decay Yikes.
I know about the massacre, so there's no point in... Yup. Okay. Ten. Yup. An opponent just has the tendrils. Yep. Yikes. Well, unfortunate. Um, now, again, there it, it didn't matter if we played the second one or not. Um, opponent had Echoing Truth specifically, uh, which meant that even if we had resolved the second one, um, it's out of play. Um, so there wasn't really... Lotus Petal would have been the other name. We could have named Lotus Petal with Revoker instead of Wishclaw Talisman. But I think that Wishclaw Talisman allowing them to get get their answers, to find their answers to cast, uh, is worse for us. So I instead chose the thing that I thought was likely to dig them into the game. Opponent just had, okay, in response to Port Ritual, Ritual Adnaws. And then Adnaws into... The natural tendrils and massacre and another ritual and had a brought decay in hand so i i don't know that there was a whole lot that could be done there like opponent opponent picked their spot to to try to go off and had just enough resources and whatnot to make it happen so that is unfortunate so, one and three, um, like, Storm I think is a matchup we can absolutely win. Uh, the blue echo deck, the blue artifact, eight cast echo deck, uh, I think is probably 50-50 or maybe 60% their favor. Um, it is a tight one. You have cards that matter, they also have... A lot of sidestep plans in Psy and whatever. Their their spells don't necessarily need to do big busted things. They can just make a huge board state full of nonsense and tell you to figure it out. Um, and Reanimator gets weird by the day. Uh, Archon of Cruelty is kind of a big game. Rude Slay. We lost the die roll. Opponent's avatar is a grizzle brand, so that doesn't normally fare well. Um, but yeah, reanimator uh, archon of cruelty being like one of the primary reanimation targets now is this is like fine. Um, really bad for death in Texas is what I was saying because the archon removes cards from our hands. It, um, it's so it removes card. Yikes! Yup. Yup. Just gonna get dunked on by Reanimator with a turn one grief. What did you pitch? You pitched a Grizzle Brand, which is something, I guess. Scary now that this isn't even like the most terrifying thing. Well, can discuss the reanimator matchup more as this unfolds, but yeah, the fact that they're they're I mean, uh, Sarah's emissary is a big deal, um, and then Archon of Cruelty is a big deal. Title, yes. Black. We're just, okay, just reanimate grief. I understand. Take another card from my hand. Probably vile. Like. If this was the plan, why not just take vile to start with, right? This is turn. Oh, wow. Okay. They have uh, an animate dead baseline by the looks of it. If your whole hand is just like grief shred mine, like I'm okay with that. That that is not a very quick clock, and if I put the standard of violin into play, 
And if you leave, if you take the vial, you leave me with removal spell for grief. So, not particularly worried. It's this ritual entomb. Ex I guess, no, they can't have, they can't have two cards that matter here. Oh. Sure. Sh why not? Yup. You got it. Yup. Like, okay. Vial, go. I have like four turns to stitch something together. Yeah, six. Sure. Always yield. Yes. This will be the one of the games where we just draw nothing but lands for the rest of the game. Six. Want to find a land? Yup. That one matters. I guess you didn't know about that land, so. Go to two. Yes, please. This one. Batter skull. Yes, please. Put my batter skull into play. So I've been showing my opponent this Caracas, which they know about, which is a questionable line of play, but black, black, dance of the dead, my palace jailer. So opponent is, hold on, what in the world? Yeah, I mean, we're dead. I'm confused as to why my opponent is playing Dance of the Dead, but sure. Uh, containment Priest, Canonist, Rest in Peace, Rest in Peace, Surgical, Surgical, Deafening Silence, Deafening Silence, Trap, Trap, Prelates, Gite. So what what I'm weird about here is that I never saw opponent play a red land. Which leads me to believe that there's a reasonable chance opponent is on mono black and being in the one three bracket, that's actually viable. Um Calder can go. Apparition is good. I already took prelate out. Spirit spirit. Stoneforge Mystic. Could Borden Path? 
Don't hate boarding in the path. I can just cut the whole stone forge package. And then one more cut. Can be mom. One, two. Mom is one of the worst of these. Sure. Yep. Not good enough. Better. Keep. Ship. Do you have a chance to learn next to show me? You don't. Awesome. Great. We have port. I love it. <clears throat> I actually believe opponent might be mono black. Sun scorched desert. Sure. Okay. I'm very confused. My name is Charlie Player or Planeswalker. Yeah, you get to, I mean, you get to grief me. And then, like, exhume grief. Like, I guess that's that's the line of play they have available, right? Or, I mean, I guess they could have animator dance or whatever. One has already showed me their deck is full of weirdness. Oh, okay. Wild. I'm very confused about what hap what's going on in our opponent's deck. All right. Wasteland view. That is a card that exists in my deck. Why, why you no wish? I'm confused. Sun Scorched Desert, deal one to me. Yes, this is fine. The opponent could have wished when we ported their swamp and chose not to. Uh, sure. Oh. I guess that makes some sense. Like, right? Opponent knows about this Caracas? Awesome. Good talk. I, but, 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 what? Do you, what? I'm so lost. Use other visibility. Yes. Put in mom. I would love to. Like, you know that this exists. Oh my god, this is so good. So opponent has animate data, right? I 
onto this one. Is that cool? Yep. I'm gonna get the containment priest. You have all your mana for a turn, friend. Show me what you got. Yeah, that's fine. The last card in your hand is Animate Dead. Sure. So now, like, yes. I mean, I have you covered every way, right? So I just attack with Recruiter 20 times. Lagstones of Trocare. Or you. Now we begin the waiting game. This is where opponent wishes. What are you wishing for, opponent? Are you wishing for massacre? Because boy, do I have news. It doesn't really do anything. Okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, so, still very confused. Uh, opponent now has the Wish Claw Talisman, though, so now I'm interested in this Revoker, I think. Or not? Like, Apparition just does the thing good enough, I guess. Have answers to a billion permanents. Yeah, this is fine. Like, if opponent massacres me, I just go and get, or I just flash in the priest afterwards, and then I now have a tutor that gets me some other hate piece, or another mom, which is all great. I've lost the die roll. No, I, I won the last game, but close match come on, close. So, this time we have to mulligan a little more aggressively. Because now we we don't have a couple of turns to set up. Kind of want some turn zero eight. But I'm more convinced now that opponent is mono black. Because witch claw talisman is a whole weirdness. I'm also trying to figure out like. Important has dance and exhume and animate. Is opponent like trying to combo with World Gorger? Like I haven't seen it yet, but also like what? So apologies everybody for getting a little quiet here. Um I'm very confused at what's going on, and this is, on top of that, this is my first piece of direct-to-YouTube content, so, well, other than uh, some things on my own personal channel a while ago, um, so I'm still trying to get the feel for it, um, so if you enjoy this, please uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, leave comments, do the things, um, I'm going to try to make a little more direct-to-YouTube content. Uh, as well as potentially some more uh, Twitch exclusive content kind of back and forth going forward. So uh, let me know what you think. If there is anything that you would like changed, uh, please say so. Uh, I know this overlay is a little bit of a mess uh, and the top section doesn't really do a whole lot when we're sitting here on a direct YouTube video, um, but uh, that, that'll, that will be worked on. 
that will absolutely be worked on. There will be a separate overlay in the future going forward uh, for my Switch Gaming direct to YouTube content. So stay tuned for that. Opponents really tanking about their, their hand. Like kind of a lot a lot. I hope opponents looking for results from me because they're not going to find them. I think the 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 one result I've put up that would show up on a search is a four one. And if opponent has a way to find three twos and such, then they're gonna find a whole bunch of vintage. So this should be interesting. For the record, opponent also hasn't said anything, they've just been missing. Could be had to get sandwich. Could be bathroom break. They're still connected to the game, so I will it stands to reason that their internet and or power has not completely gone away. So sit here for a moment and ponder what it is our opponent is pondering. Especially given that neither one of us has put ponder anywhere in our 75. So yeah, I mean I think the kind of hands we're looking for involve mind break trap plus something else or surgical extraction plus something else. Um, I guess if opponent is mono black, the, the thing that we have going for us is that their deck is likely less consistent. They don't have the red cards that allow them to, like Faithless Looting, for example, that allow them to kind of turn through their deck. Um, but what they do is they have all of the acceleration for the explosive draws. So if I were opponent, I would be mulliganing to an explosive draw. Um... We also haven't seen a whole lot of what their deck does. Um, I know they can make a Grizzle Brand. I know they can reanimate Grief and or my things. Um, but I, I don't know what else they can do. Like, is there Sarah's Emissary, Archon of Cruelty? Are we looking at, like... Grave Titan. Unclear. But I suppose we shall see? Potentially? Question mark? Opponent, please come back. Opponent, please. Please, opponent, I have a family. My wife has made a beautiful dinner. Please. If you dumpster me, you dumpster me. It's fine. Interesting. Okay. But, yeah, so, I guess touching on Mono Black Reanimator a little more. The opponent's client is glitching out. Yeah, opponent says, I think my client's glitched, unless it's waiting on you. I said, I see waiting on you. No mole resolved yet. So opponent, opponent's client says that they're A-OK, -okay, and I currently see them just hemorrhaging clock. Because, yeah, as it sits right now, opponent would most assuredly lose this match. 
if they don't do something quickly. Hoping that opponent tries to restart before anything else. Because, truth be told, their deck wins quickly enough that they could restart their client, come back with, I mean, even like eight minutes on the clock, and still potentially... Your opponent has disconnected. There we go. Um, they could assuredly come back from this game fairly quickly if they restart their... Magic Online Client, quickly. Root Slate joined the game. Okay. Hey. Alright. I didn't really do anything. I'm all again. This also doesn't do anything. Yikes. Sure. Yep. Ship this one. Ship this one. Ship this one. Done. Yikes. Okay. So, opponents played their swamp. Okay. You get to grief me. Most of my hands were fine, but not great. This one is pretty solid, even as a four. Yep, take plow. Sure. Solitude. And Tomb, you got it. Get Grizzlebrand, sure. They just, yep, reanimate. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, opponent goes to five, draws seven cards. Battle, yes. Grief me, yes. Yep, shocking. Which one of these two things do you want? That seems incorrect. Oh, okay. It just doesn't matter, I understand. Which claw talisman? Sure. Draw plow win game. Draw plow win game. Not plow. Yikes. <clears throat> Game's still very winnable. Getting less so by the minute, but still very winnable. Rip seven. Pedal, sure. Still not sure why you haven't activated Wish Claw Talisman. Evoke Grief, yes. Take my Thalia, sure thing. Alright. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so that explains things a little more. Why Dance of the Dead exists in my opponent's deck and tomb. Yep. Show me World Gorger Dragon. And tomb for World Gorger. No, and tomb for Grief. Not not in Tomb for Dragon? Strange. Strange indeed. Black Black reanimate something? 
I'm so very confused. Like this, this tells me opponent is like assuredly on dragon, but opponent has decided not to. Just gonna take a grief. I don't. My hand is empty. Yeah. Do you have the dragon in hand? Yes, please. Uh, that's eleven. We're still not dead. Takes two to untap the thing. Sure. I've now checked the dragon. Like, we're almost assuredly dead. We go to one. Draw seven. You're just looking for a land that deals a point of damage. It's not the line of play here. Because this, this is surely, like, also, why, why not just tutor for it? Like, opponent. What, what, what? What? I'm so lost. Like, I want to message our, I want to message my opponent and be like, yo, why not, why not just activate Wish Claw Talisman and tutor for the thing? But, apparently... I'm the crazy one. Yeah, okay, double dragon in hand. Got it, got it. Yes, please. Cool story. We're just dead. Thalia. So, like, opponent, you, okay, there, there we go. Jeez, that was the weirdest thing. Okay, so uh, that was a one and four. Um, I mono black was very winnable. Um, especially knowing that my opponent's on the dragon package and that their kill condition with the dragon package is. Piranha Marsh or the like. Um, that matchup is very winnable. Um, Ad Nauseam Tendrils, we could have absolutely won. Um, I feel like there was a little bit of draw the wrong half the deck. Um, and a little bit of opponent just be like, oh, hey, yeah, Ritual, Ritual. Yeah, in response to you porting my land in my upkeep, Ritual, Ritual, Ad Nauseam. Draw another Ritual plus tendrils plus massacre had cantrip had decay so like that that's kind of atrocious um but yeah uh everyone feel free to in the comment section let me know if you are interested in more of this kind of content um i also stream five night th i'm sorry three nights a week over at twitch.tv slash Azrael Chimera, which you see at the bottom left corner of your screen. And I will be making some more direct to YouTube content in the future. Thanks everybody. Have a good night.